better than the other one. guys welcome back today's video is another vlog and i also show you guys my full skincare routine i'm really happy with how it turned out um and i hope you guys enjoy it <laughs> i'm going to be on a podcast this morning so i've gotten up pretty early it's like 7 30 and the girls that are interviewing me are from canada and the united states so i had to kind of get up a little bit earlier to allow for that time difference the podcast is going to be about like my business and just like yeah starting a little business and just that sort of thing really hi Lola, how are you good how are you guys good. 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 Thanks. like it seems so seamless on the front end of things but behind the scenes, little do you know, like, it's an absolute shambles. <laughs> um, this was something I really struggled with at uni. And it, it's been, like, really nice to just pause and not be at uni for a while. I'm all done with the podcast. That was really, really good. I feel like it was a really good conversational one. Really interesting just talking about, like, having supportive friends, which, shout out to my gals. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people um, and just taking the leap and starting that thing that you've always wanted to start um so if the episode is out yet i will happily link it down below <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna hate my future self for saying that because what if it's really bad um but anyways <laughs> now that it, that is done it took about an hour it's now 8 30 i am about to go meet up with maddie margo and tom we're gonna grab coffee go for a walk so i need to get changed and get ready for that Alright, I'm in a little bit of a rush. It probably looks like I live in this jumper, but I honestly do at the moment. It's been really cold here. I am just wearing it with this little cotton on body green, like, eh, singlet underneath. I don't know if you can see that. And then just my Adidas sneakers. I'm just going for coffee and then a walk, which I think I already told you. But I have to go, so I'll see you later. <laughs> cheeks are a little bit rosy because i just got back from a boxing class it was so good i had a really good partner today so it was like such a good workout we have a pretty busy day planned i want to be as productive as i can although it is friday um so i'm actually just about to make myself a coffee I also need to do a lot of making this morning um but i've been really good the last few days at doing like a few hours each day I'm gonna have a decaf coffee this morning. I change it up, like I don't always drink decaf, but because when I drink regular coffee every single day, it's like really bad for my anxiety. <laughs> Yum, how good does that look? I've also been buying the Barista Oatly and I find it makes your milk so much frothier. That's my best one. <gasps> so I've just packed everything up and this is everything that I made this morning. It took me about two and a half hours to make all of these, but I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I literally just had a lady message me on Instagram and ask me if I wanted a bunch of flowers. So I don't know what I did to really deserve a bunch of flowers from a random. If you're on the Sunshine Coast, this is her Instagram. Um, but what? <laughs> How nice. Like, I just think that is the loveliest thing ever. Like, literally made my day. How pretty are these? Especially this one. Oh, so nice. I've just put them in a vase and look how pretty they look. I'm so obsessed with this little corner of my room. Maddie's about to come over and we're about to make some yummy brekkie. I wanted to quickly show you, my mom went to a flower farm yesterday and she picked up all these really beautiful 
dried flowers so this one has like glitter in it these are some cute little purple ones so fun for food styling these are some dried oranges look who just arrived hi Mads just made us some coiffe. Yum, I actually can't get over how good this spread is. I'm so proud of us. And look how pretty the flowers look that I got yesterday. I have just gotten back from the beach. Maddie and I ended up going after brekkie for a couple of hours. Um, and it was just so nice to lay in the winter sun. I think that is like one of my favorite things ever about winter. It's just you can go to the beach and not get burnt. My reason for starting this clip was I've just come home and had a shower and I thought I would film whilst I'm doing my skincare because I have had a few questions about that recently, especially since my skin has been getting a little better. Um, you may or may not know, I know I talked about it in a few vlogs ago, but I have kind of been struggling with my skin lately. It was looking so much worse than this. It's pretty much back to normal, but I just have a few little blemishes on the side here. Whenever I wash my face out of the shower, I always use one of these like reusable makeup pads. If you haven't gotten yourself one of these, 10 out of 10 recommend. They save so much mess and they're so good. You don't need makeup remover or anything and they just take everything off. Before I start, I'm just gonna quickly chuck my hair into a loose braid at the back just so any pieces don't get in the way. I'm just gonna wet my little makeup round and just like wet my face. <laughs> It's always different, but in the stages where my skin isn't thriving too much, I try to do this like once a day, the scrub, but then as it gets better, I find I don't need it as much and I'll just change it up and do like every couple of days or like every three days probably. Then I generally go in with the cream cleanser again. Like I said, I usually do this in the shower. Sometimes I use a normal cleanser, but because my skin is really dry usually, I find my skin really thrives when I use a cream cleanser for some reason. And again, once you're done, wipe that off with warm water. Obviously, this is a lot easier if you are in the shower, but I didn't really want to film myself naked, so here we are. And now your face should be all fresh and clean. Feels really good. <laughs> if you want, or if you don't have like any troubles with your skin, you can just stop there and finish with moisturizer. That's what I actually used to do. So once my face is all dry, I like to go in with a toner. Again, this is just the same Sukin brand. Now the next two products I use are from The Ordinary. These are really inexpensive. The first one I use is the Hydroclonic Acid 2% with B5. Now these products are super concentrated, so you really don't need much. Um, but I just like to put them in my trouble areas so kind of like my cheeks um, and my nose and then whatever's left I just kind of put over the top and you don't want to rub it in too much you kind of want to leave like a little bit of a thick layer so that it can kind of just soak into your skin itself the next one that I use is it starts with N and it's very long 10% plus zinc if you have any like active breakouts or anything this one kind of stings for a couple of seconds um, which is honestly kind of satisfying because it feels like it's working but yeah i just like to lather that on my problem areas again and then just use the rest wherever as you see it kind of like goes a bit white i think that's just like the combination of the two products and then again i just let that fan dry for a couple of seconds and then to finish off everything i like to put some moisturizer on top this one again is from the Sukin brand. It's just their signature facial moisturizer for all skin types. I really don't use much of this. I just like to rub it on my hands and then pat it on my face. And then I look a little bit crazy for a couple of minutes whilst I let it soak in. I just don't want to rub off the other products, um, but it'll soak in in a couple of minutes. And then I just put the leftovers on my hands decolletage area and there we have it that is that is my everyday skincare routine for the moment or for the past few months at least 
feel like it's always changing though like i'm always wanting to try new products but this is what i have found has really been working for me lately and like i said all of those products are so affordable but yeah that's my skincare routine Good morning guys. Well, it's actually not morning. It's like 12 o'clock now um, But I actually just got back from the farmers market with my girlfriend Mia We just went for a nice long walk and then stopped by the farmers market afterwards and got a smoothie for brekkie Which was really nice. It's actually been really gross here weather wise just really rainy and yuck the last few days But for the first time in a few days, it was actually really nice weather this morning um, so hopefully it's clearing up for the week ahead. This was my outfit this morning I'm just wearing this jumper from Verge Girl. Underneath I just have a little white crop singlet from Glassons These black pants are from Princess Polly. I've been wearing these heaps lately um, And then my Adidas sneakers. I got a few packages last week that I actually haven't showed you guys yet These are from some small local Australian businesses So I thought it would be cool to show you guys because I always love supporting other small little businesses this first one is a really beautiful silk scarf. It's from a girl called Jess and her business is called New Botanic Designs. So this is a 100% silk scarf with actually one of her artworks printed on it, which is so fun. And then I got this foam mirror from this brand. I think it's called Foam or Foam Furniture. This could also be a really cute jewelry tray. I've loved seeing like the DIY furniture that people have also been making with these, but yeah, big fan of the mirrors. Like how cute. I don't know where to put it yet, but I'm sure I'll figure out somewhere for that. I'll also link their Instagram pages down below as well if you want to check them out. But yeah, I love these. Fast forward a few hours. I actually just popped outside to grab some of my washing. It has actually turned out to be the nicest afternoon and I have a feeling we're going to get the nicest sunset. So a few of my friends and I are going to go on one of our friend's boat. <laughs> That was a mouthful. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing some denim shorts, a top from With Jean, and then this little cardi from And Other Stories. My shoes are from Topshop. I got them in Europe a few years ago. I think I'm going to bring a bag with me because I want to bring some snacks for us. This bag is from Faithful The Label as well, for those of you wondering. So I'm going to go downstairs and grab some snacks. That is a habit I never had. 